Ladies and gents, in this case, we want to introduce the experiment that calls Snell's law. In Snell's law, we have two important things. One, the angle of incident and the angle of refraction as well as the angle of reflection. However, in this case, we'll be dealing with uh, the angle of refraction. All right. So here are the apparatus that we will be using. In this case, we have the paper can see and in our paper we do have the diagram of the protractor right which is this one so we try to draw it there so that it will be simpler for us and then we have the pins which they are pinning down the paper so that you don't have movements when you're trying to measure the angle then we have uh, our source in this case will be light okay our source in this case will be light so we'll try and put the light at an angle of zero degrees so that you'll be able to see it there there's our light and then we introduce our rectangular prism and our rectangular prism we put it at here at 90 degrees then in between there we have it right now what you can see is the light moves from this side to other side now let's introduce some concept in there this other side where it moves through is what we call the medium. The medium in this case will be air, and then the second medium will be the, 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 the prism, and the third medium will be air. Okay. So the refractive index in air will be one in both in both cases. So let's put some certain angle and see if we do have the angle of refraction. We can see there there's a light. You see it comes in there then when it comes in here you can see it's not going straight right so it is somehow refracted and then it goes out like this what is basically important we should note is the angle of incident in this side should be the angle equal to the angle that it comes out with here so for us to get the refraction in here then we have to use some lead to to measure uh, to point this and then we withdraw again to get the angles now that was one part where we are using the prism we also could use water to measure the angle so here is our water in a container in here so we can put them there so i'm using the same angle at 30 degrees right i want you to note something here you can see the water it shows you the light is scattering this way remember you remember by when you hit there's a rain droplet and it's hit by the sun there will be a reflection of all, all of all the angles where you will have the rainbow blue and what and what not colors this is the same idea where then there will be where it hits the the droplet then it will scatter like that so that's what we are seeing the scattering but we're not focusing on the scattering that we don't see a little bit we see it but not much we focus on the bigger one there where we see it so also in this case you do the same thing you use the lead to actually measure what is the angle of refraction